So it's, it's good to see you here. Yeah. Um, how long have you been sporting this fashionable footwear? Um, well, it's it's far from fashionable, but it is. Uh, my my spinal cord finds it very fashionable. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's the the, the Vibram five finger deal, and um, apparently human beings were not meant to wear shoes, and so we get all of these injuries from running and jumping and you know kicking and things that we do and. The theory of the shoe is that it's kind of uh, mimicking barefoot, and that's what your body likes, so I'm taking it for a little test drive. Fantastic. Now, how much time do you really spend in the water? Um, wow. Well, it, it, goes in, uh, in, it goes in waves, no pun intended, but sometimes every day for a month, and then I get busy doing something else, and I haven't been in that water for about three weeks, which is a, a long time for me. Get in today? Getting in today. All right. Getting in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the news on the Chili Peppers record? News on the Chili Peppers record. Um, we've been writing songs for 11 months. We have more songs than we know what to do with. We, we begin recording them in two days from today. Uh, Rick Rubin producing. We have a new guitar player who uh, I'm absolutely in love with on a musical level. His name is Josh Klinghoffer. And uh, it's new blood. It's new songs. And it feels of this moment. And we're real happy with the writing process. And now we have have to put it on tape. So. Does it feel like a different evolution in terms of the sound? Uh, it certainly is. I mean, it can't help but be because we have a new guy and our band is so uh, kind of dependent on chemistry and energy and his is very choice. Actually, yeah, we feel real lucky. I know Jane's Addiction, they are, a lot of their songs are actually influenced by the ocean. And like, there's Oceanside, for example. Yes. A lot of songs like, so how did the actually surfing culture affect you as a band member within there and just oh, in, in your lifestyle in general? Uh, well, I think that, I mean, both Perry and I grew up as surfers. You know, he grew up in uh, Florida, and, uh, and I grew up in Southern California. And um, although I think it informed what we did and sort of gave us a, a perspective on the ocean being involved in our lives and our work and everything, I don't think either of us were doing a whole lot of surfing back in back in the day you know we had uh, some less healthy pursuits let's put it that way <laughs> yeah. but uh but but yeah so it's like you know we grew up uh, both of us you know as a part of uh, our our dna you know so, so yeah well hey i saw recently on a blog post you've been working on some actually synthesizer stuff more of the keyboard stuff which is a departure from the bass so yeah. how's that going uh really well actually and and interestingly enough yeah. it's not really a departure from the bass it's a departure from bass guitar but I initially got really interested in it because getting interested in dubstep music because of what they were doing with the bass in particular like a lot of the production stuff I wasn't really into but in particular I was really turned on by what was going on with the bass so so that's uh, sort of how I got started and now it's a bug it's, it's a sickness so that's great yeah, yeah. and uh, closing talk you would win in a surf, a surf contest the Jane's Addiction or Red Hot Chili Peppers it would be essentially you and Perry versus uh, <laughs> Flea and Anthony. Well, I'd have to say it depends on the conditions. <laughs> if the conditions are like today, yeah. they might win because they have serious board acreage advantage over us. Uh, if the waves got heavier, I think we'd do okay.